Hi, this is Michael Orl from MobileBurn.com. I'm going to show you some of the changes to the Motorola Droid that come with the Android 2.2 Froyo update. This is the home screen, the default layout of icons here. See we've got five panels to work with. You can grab one, move it over, grab another one, move it the other direction just like you would on any other Android device. Uh, you'll see that there's little dots down here, one dot here, three dots here. It means there's one home screen further to the right and right now it's showing four dots, four to the left. Two, one. You can always hit the home screen button to get right back to the center panel though. Shortcuts for the phone and for the web. I'll show you those benchmarks in a little bit but let's go to the main menu first. Very straightforward looking main menu. Not all these apps are stock. I've installed a bunch of apps in testing, you know, benchmarks and things like that. Very straightforward looking, not too fancy. Jump to the browser here. You can see right now I've got a screen full of benchmark stats. This is the Sun Spider, it's a JavaScript benchmark. And I did this just to compare, you know, speeds and see how much faster the JavaScript engine is. And um, a lot of these items here. Uh, came out significantly faster than the 1 gigahertz Samsung Vibrant, which is running Android 2.1. So, a uh, lot of really good speed improvements here. Uh, control flow was much faster, and um, regular expression support was infinitely faster. It's uh, good all around. It makes this device, with its slower processor, um, much more you know comparable to a, a faster 1 gigahertz processor running Android 2.1 jump into the bookmarks and go to the Adobe Flash detection page and you can see that um, we don't appear to have proper full running flash support uh, instead of getting flash animations up here and stuff we're getting uh, text and you see the little plug-in icon there pulling a little bit closer there looks like a Lego so let's jump to a uh, Adobe Flash game site and see if we get, get any better results and here we are at flashgames247.com and if I tap on one of the games you can see we get the same plug-in uh, icon there. So it's obvious that Adobe Flash 10.1 has not been installed on this build. You might have noticed the little drop-down button here on the search widget. You can see it gives you options for searching on just a subset of all the things that it can show. For example, if I um, hit apps, if I go back and type in you know L it'll just show me applications that start with L. I can further refine that by hitting say I and it'll show me just Linpack. can also show just contacts. Type LI again. You'll see for example Eric Lin of HTC. And when you go back to the home screen it always defaults to the searching everything function. So let's pull up the Android market and I'm going to jump over to the download section. It shows uh, applications you've purchased and already installed. Notice a couple of them have updates. If I go into the Twitter one here, you can see uh, that there's a new option for allowing automatic updates. Although the, the Google Maps one says it has to be done manually at this point in time. Uh, in the future, future updates should uh, go automatically though. You also notice at the bottom there's an update all function. I'm going to run that so you can see what it looks like. And we should start downloading and installing all the updates. Facebook's done. And Twitter's done as well. As previously mentioned, I have to do a manual update for Google Maps. And we're done. Here's the main settings screen. You can see uh, things have been reorganized a bit. Sound and display are separate. If I go down to voice input and output, a new option. You'll see that there are separate settings for the speech input system as well as the synthesized speech output system. 
you can tell it to uh, you know filter images and things based on uh, Google Safe Search technology, and you can also tell it to not interpret anything as an offensive word, which uh, is kind of interesting. And then of course the uh, very similar looking uh, text-to-speech settings that we've seen in other versions of Android. We'll scroll down to the About Phone section here, so you can see the firmware information. Android 2.2 showing right there. If I go into Applications and then Manage Applications, you can see the new tabbed interface for your apps. Uh, this is the downloaded tab. Everything here is something I've installed. Running apps, complete list of apps, and then those on the SD card. And there's nothing at the moment, but if I go into Barcode Scanner here, I can tap on this button to move it over to the SD card, which will free up resources inside the phone itself. Not all applications support this, though, but those that do can be moved back and forth quite easily just by hitting these buttons. So if I go back and then I'll go to this tab, you see the barcode scanner is now listed. Pick other random applications like uh, Facebook, you'll see that the move to SD card option is not available yet. Hopefully we'll see more applications with support for this functionality in the future though. So that's a quick look at some of the changes on the Motorola Droid with the Android 2.2 Froyo build. I'm Michael Oral from MobileBurn.com and AndroidAuthority.com.